1959, Singapore gained internal self-government, one big step towards independence. The PAP won the general election that year and formed the government for the first time. Then came the split with the communists, merger with Malaysia, then separation and unexpected independence alone. For those born in the 50s, these were indelible, formative experiences that shaped them for life. They were too young to participate in events, but most were old enough to sense the electricity in the air, to share the excitement of the changes, to feel the hope of a brighter tomorrow. They saw the posters and banners that festooned the streets and were stirred by the rallying cry, Merdeka! One word that meant so much, liberation, freedom, independence. One word that expressed the determination and the passion, the ambitions and aspirations of a people roused and on the move. And seldom were the people more roused than on the 3rd of June, 1959, when Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, newly elected Prime Minister, addressed a huge rally at the Padang. As he told the crowd from the City Hall steps, once in a long while in the history of a people, there comes a moment of great change. Tonight is such a moment in our lives. We begin a new chapter in the history of Singapore. Most memorable was his call to action, captured in this clip. You've seen it, you've heard it, but it's still electrifying. Saudara, saudara, saudari, saudari, setanah air, merdeka! Lagi sekali yang bersemangat, merdeka! This group, born in the 1950s, are the Merdeka generation. In Chinese, we can say Li Guo Yitai. In Malaysia, of course, Generasi Merdeka. There are 500,000 of the Merdeka generation today, and I'm proud to be one of them. Having lived through the battles and upheavals of the Merdeka struggle and seen how their parents have scraped and slogged for them, when the Merdeka generation grew up, they understood instinctively what was at stake. They accept, accepted hardships, they made sacrifices, they answered the call of duty, they worked with their leaders to build a better tomorrow. The men were amongst the earliest batches called up for national service. They were the first of the SAF, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. Many, especially the girls, didn't complete their education. They came out to work early to support the family and younger siblings. Some joined the workforce amidst economic uncertainty and high unemployment as the British forces withdrew from Singapore. All started working when wages were still low. Together with the pioneer generation, the Merdeka generation contributed to building Singapore, to making Merdeka independence a success. Compared to the pioneer generation, the Merdeka generation are better off. They were born later, they benefited from an extra decade of economic growth, and they were generally better educated than the pioneers, especially the younger ones. The Merdeka generation earned more over their lifetimes and accumulated more CPF savings. Because in the early 80s, wages increased sharply, CPF rates also went up significantly. But of course, the cohorts that came after them did even better. As we improved the education system year by year, more of the younger cohorts earned diplomas and degrees and found higher skills and better, higher skilled and better paid jobs. And people stopped dropping out of school because they needed to work. They could afford school, they could get the education, they could invest in their children for a lifetime. And therefore, they earned more and saved more. Most of the Merdeka generation today are in their 60s. 
They've either left the workforce or will soon be retiring. Many have similar healthcare concerns as the pioneers. They are looking at their CPF savings and MediSafe accounts, worried about having enough for their medical needs as they grow older. I think we owe something to them. The government will work out a Merdeka generation package. The Merdeka Generation Package will help this group to meet their medical expenses. We'll announce the details next year, but it'll cover similar areas like the PG Package, for example, outpatient subsidies, MediSafe top-ups, MediShield Life Premium subsidies, and payouts for long-term care. The benefits will not be as large as for the Pioneer Generation, who had much less advantage in life, but the Merdeka Generation Package will go some way to relieve their healthcare worries. And more importantly, it will show our appreciation for the Merdeka generation and their contributions.